Hi, I'm Sandra Earl. I'm a technical product manager with D2L's user experience and design group. And today I'm here to talk to you about a new feature in 1071. It's the integration of an accessibility checker in our HTML editor. I'm personally really excited about this feature because it helps us promote HTML content as the best content to author within our system to meet every learner. So HTML content lets you ensure maximum interoperability with the learning aids that your students might be using, whether that be a screen reader, um, a color contrast uh, plugin, or something like ReadSpeaker to help students read text aloud. Uh, so that's my plug for this new feature, but let's dig in and see what this looks like in product. So I'm going to go into a science course that I have set up, and in here I've already created a piece of content, um, and I'm going to edit that and run the checker. So if I scroll into this biodiversity unit and I just click wolves in Yellowstone, I'm going to pull up our HTML editor with my content. So here you can see this content in our system. And I'm going to edit that HTML. Once I'm in here, you'll see this new option at the bottom of the HTML editor, along with our spell checker and our edit source is the new check accessibility option. And if I click that option, I'm going to show you in this document sort of three of the types of errors that you, we can generate through this checker. So the first error we're seeing is that my image doesn't have alt text. And the nice thing about this checker is for many of the remediations, they allow you to resolve it right in place. So here I can add alt text to this image right here in the checker and click Save, and then that document is going to be improved without me having to go into the HTML editor source code. The next example is showing uh, a visual contrast error. So if you see here, my H2 style is using a yellow text. And what it's telling me is that this doesn't meet the WCAG 2.0 level AA guidelines for color contrast. And the neat thing about this uh, error is you can see this little help icon, and I could actually drill in and go to the WCAG guidelines and learn more about this requirement um, and how it's going to support uh, individuals who are low vision. Uh, but personally, I don't need to do that check right now. So what I'll do is right here in the editor, I'll change that color. And the nice thing about our editor is when I do that, when I apply a new color, it is actually going to let me know right in line as I apply that color whether my new color is accessible. So here I'm picking a sort of pinkish color, and I see here that it passes the WCAG level AA requirements for both large and small text. So I can feel confident that the new color I'm choosing is going to be appropriate. So when I rerun this check, I should now only have one error because hopefully I've resolved two. I've resolved the uh, image alt text, and I've resolved the color contrast on my heading. So now I'm seeing, oh, two errors. So my image alt text did not take. So let's try to repair that again. And now I'm seeing that I have an error with my list markup. Uh, so I see that although I have references and they're marked as A, B, C, they're not correctly marked up as a list. So again, I could easily, within our WYSIWYG editor, highlight that and apply a list style to that. So I've added an ordered list to these options and cleaned up the styling a bit. And now when I run my checker, I should be clean. So that's the end of my demo for today. Uh, thank you all for uh, watching this short video. And I hope everybody's enjoying the Global Accessibility Awareness Day and promoting accessibility at their campuses. Bye.